Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS. I just wanted to go through everything new that was added today in Black Ops 4. They added new contracts. So we're going to check out zombies first. They added the new unsinkable uh, gauntlet, which is the hard one. Uh, so it looks different because you actually do get uh, rewards. As you can see, you get these three things. So it's like purple, uh, diamond and platinum so that's pretty cool uh, definitely gonna check that out later and see how hard it actually is and I'll probably stream that so if you guys don't follow me on twitch definitely follow me I'll link it in the description uh, so I'm gonna be playing that later which looks pretty cool there's probably a new sticker that you earn as well but they added in contracts which are like the huge new thing that also allows you to get new stuff so the first one is play 20 rounds of classified so that's really easy you get a tier skip which is a zombies bonus you also get one crate and a thousand xp and then you get uh other contracts that you can select these were the two that i selected so get 100 kills while using shields and get 200 headshots but they also have six total every day so you can get killed 20 heavy enemy enemies which is really easy get 200 kills using wonder weapons get 200 ki kills using assault rifles get 200 kills using like machine guns so i picked 200 headshots and 100 kills using shields and you can go through and complete all these within a day as you can see the timer is at the top which is really cool and they also have this for every single mode so in blackout for example i haven't selected any yet but in contracts you have to play 45 minutes in solo and then for contracts they have uh four of them these two are labeled hard so place in the top three in a quads game two times and kill three enemies while underwater those are actually pretty hard kill two enemies without taking damage from them kill two enemies while they are seated in a vehicle kill 30 zombies and revive two players inside the collapse so those are those and you can select two of those at a time uh, which is cool and then also in multiplayer and they also have it in world league which i'll check right after multiplayer which is awesome i really like how they're adding all this stuff into the game uh, it definitely adds a lot and it allows you to earn stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to earn uh, so for this one come play and complete five games of search and destroy and for the challenges get an enemy killed in action with your primary and secondary weapon in the same life 10 times while using overkill win five games in public matchmaking get five kills with a Molotov get 10 headshots in hardcore get 10 headshots and get five multi kills as a result of using a special weapon so those are all the contracts for the normal game modes and then for world league uh, i think there's contracts in here as well so basically there's a total of seven in each of the different modes that you can complete in every day uh like every day playing so that's really cool i've never played world league so i don't really know anything about this playing complete five games Earn 15 Kingslayer medals, kill the enemy who has the highest score in a game, get 20 enemies killed in action in hardpoint, 15 in control, or 4 in search and destroy 5 times, win 2 games in a row, win 4 games, earn 1000 ladder points does not include bonus points, get 3 first blood medals, get the first kill in a match 3 times. So those are pretty cool, I, I really like this, maybe I'll even play league play as well. Uh, but I really like how they're adding this in now one of the thing I did want to mention is they added in or Treyarch tweeted out a zombie image today which was Richtofen inside of the dark mechanism at the end of the blood of the dead uh, ending Easter egg cutscene and basically what that means is that was what was shown inside of the Cronorium and it's probably why Richtofen flipped out and said you son of a bitch in the beginning of the blood of the dead intro cutscene so that's really cool uh it doesn't really show that much though so i'm kind of interested to see where this is gonna go but we know it's the aether we know we're gonna be getting the new map next month in july so i'm really excited to see when that is going to happen chances are it's going to be on july 9th because that's when the new operation starts for the summer so i'm really really curious to see about that but let me know what you guys think of all this new updated stuff inside of the game i just want to make a quick video letting you guys know all about what's new in zombies and once again i'm probably going to be streaming that hard gauntlet later on today so make sure to check back for that anyways i'll see you all later guys peace out